Hello, I'd like to talk about this app. This is the client facing app that um, uh, I put in the template store. I did a very simple proof of concept one, which is what this one here is. And then I did a, a little bit more sophisticated one, uh, which is this one here, which um, when you come in, it greets whoever's logged in on there and it shows their future appointments. And uh, it's a little bit more sophisticated than this one here. On this one here, on the early ones that I had, if you went to go into it, booking you would select a day you would select a time of convenience on that day you would put some information in you would get the service that you actually required on the pick list you would give some extra notes if that's what you want to do and then you'd hit the switch and then you submit and then that um, uh, appointment went so that was actually doing the booking and then you just turned up for uh, the appointment for that um, I didn't quite, I thought that was a little bit, and you've got to do a few buttons through there. So on the later one, what I actually did was when you went in to do the booking, you hit a time, um, we're just going to do the 8 a.m. And all you need to do is just choose what you actually want as a service and to add some notes if you want to add some notes on that um, and submit. So it's a lot cleaner, simple from a client point of view. Uh, a little bit of information and a, and a bit slicker in a way uh, and it has the promos and all the rest of the things all on the front page so everything's there readable so coming back to this one so that was the client based one so what do we want now from the staff point of view well what we need from the staff point of view I, I think are about three or four things the first one give me an overview of what's coming up now depending on how many days are coming through in your appointments how many columns you get through here so if you're only letting people book two weeks in advance you may end up with 14 or five ten columns wide in which case you may have difficulty reading the dates but you actually have the dates down here so that just gives you an overview oh look i've got one appointment today i've got two appointments those days etc etc if we just come onto this one here i've got six appointments on this one and then go on through now you can just conceal those and just show them like that but um uh this is quite handy now this one says there's six appointments but depending on when those bookings are made like somebody could book tomorrow and then an hour later somebody can book today and then somebody can book three days hence and then somebody can book today. So you don't get these ones in order. Although they're only showing from today forward, they're in a little bit of a higgledy-piggledy way. And in fact, this one here for today, I've got six appointments. So there's three at the top and there's three right down at the bottom. People have just done late bookings all the way through here. And then there's a day. Now, I have tried ordering these, but they don't order very well. So this next thing I want to do is I've got six things today. What time are those? And what work am I, are, are people booking for? So what do they need to, to book for? So I can see that in here. I've got a 10.30, I've got a 1.30, and I've got a 5.30 up there. And then I've got a 2, a 2.30, and a 3. So I've got a big batch. So I've got quite a lot in the afternoon, and I've just got a, a, a 10.30 in the morning. So basically, most of my afternoon is actually taken up. So the next point we can go through is that I can drill down here a little bit further, and I can actually say to this text, I can text the, the 10.30 one and say, hey, can I move you forward? You know who he is. You know, you've got the client's name there. And you suddenly think, oh, he's just around the corner. And you say, can I bump you up to maybe 12, 12 o'clock? Is that inconvenient for you? Or maybe later on than the 10.30 one? Or can I give you to my associate? Would you mind if I get him? Because you've checked you with your associate and they've got their 10.30 free. And they said, oh, yeah, I'll go after your 10.30. You suddenly think, oh, good, I can actually have the morning free and go and do something else. The other thing that happens is that somebody rings you up and says, I can't make an appointment. I can't make my 10 o'clock one. So you say, oh, hold on a second. I'm just going to scroll down. Oh, this one here. Uh, we're just going to use this one here. I can't make it. Can you delete that appointment? So we go through and try and delete. We've got a bit of a problem here. But anyway, notionally, we can delete this appointment and say something, well, I've just lost some work there. What are we going to do about that? So what we can do is you can suddenly say, can I book that appointment for another day? Can I book it for tomorrow? What time would suit you? So you're talking to the person, so you're trying to get them to reschedule for another time. 
So you get their new appointment. They say, oh, well, actually, 12 o'clock would be a really handy one tomorrow. I just seem to be really busy at this point in time, but that would be really good. So you say, OK, then, I'll book you in under that time, and I've got your information for those ones there, and we'll just um, go and do that and make that booking for you. Now, a couple of things here I want to talk about. Inside the Glide app, you can, if you with Pro, you can actually have a user agreement. So, therefore, when you first give them the app, they can actually agree to the terms of service. So, you can say, Well, I've just put one at the top here so that every time they go to do a booking, you've actually made them aware. If you cancel a booking within 24 hours or a specific time, we will charge you for the time slot a set fee of $100,000 or whatever it is, some, something silly. If the booking is taken by somebody else because we've just freed up that booking, then there'll be no charge. So it encourages them to cancel earlier so that that um, booking is likely to be available for somebody else. So that's one thing that we do. Now, the other thing, I did that cancelling of the booking. But if you see here, I've still got six. But if I come down here, you'll see I've, I'm missing... Oh, no, that's still there. I went and cancelled that one. So if I went into there and I did that and I deleted that one, delete. If I come into here, you see it's disappeared off here. It's still showing six through here. And if I go onto the spreadsheet um, for the seventh, wherever it is, it's still showing up here. It should delete this line. Now, I did look up on Glide Apps and it is supposed to, the delete button isn't working and they were working on it, but that was on May the 30th. So I would have thought they would have got that fixed by now. You're supposed to have that working uh, when you use a, when you come in and you have the privacy settings as public with email or an allowed email list. So I've got public with email and it just doesn't seem to be working. Now, I built this app twice to see if I can do it. So I've rebuilt the app at both client and um, uh, uh, other ones and retweaked it. Both of them don't work. I can't get them to actually delete that line off the sheet, which is a bit frustrating. So overall, we can do those things. So what we need to do is if we need to delete that time, we've got to come into here, we've got to select that row through there and actually delete the row. So I would have preferred to be able to delete it from the app, that row, but unfortunately that's one thing. Now if I go back into there, I can now go on to the um, Monday the 7th and that 10 o'clock one should be appear back through here. So it's now available to everybody else. So that's one thing. The other thing with this app from the from the staff point of view is it's suddenly saying, well, actually, look, I've got a few in the afternoon, but I, I've got um, one at 3.30 or whatever it was, or whatever ones we had actually booked for. Let's just go back and actually have a look at that one. No, I think it was on this one that I'd actually done that. No, it was on this one. Um, if we just go into here, we can see we've got these six. So a lot of them are in the afternoon, but I've got one at 2.30, one at 3, and then I've got one at 1.30, and uh, I've got one at 5. So I can nip out for a cup of coffee at 4, but I'd be worried that somebody might come and actually book at 4. So what I can actually do is go in on there and just go to the 3.30 or the 4 o'clock one and go 4 o'clock and just put in A as my little secret code and just have a standard selection and don't even bother putting anything in there and actually just block that time out. So now I know nobody can actually book that time. Um, so I've actually just got a nice little half hour breakthrough there that I can actually have afternoon tea and not worry about it and not worry about somebody booking. I've given them, you know, slots either side. So what I can actually do is I can actually block out time myself to make sure that, you know, I'm not, allowing somebody to come and do a booking and I've left so I'm not actually available to do that. So you don't want those frustrations. So um, with all of those things, I think um, uh, it's making the app a little bit more useful. Um, and I think from a staff point of view, this gives a nice heads up 
you've got different levels of granularity, you've just got an overview thing there, and you're suddenly saying, well, I've got six appointments of, uh, of, of maybe 14 that are actually available, so therefore I've got extra time, right, what do I need to do? I know that I needed to sharpen the scissor blades and do this, I needed to do a little bit of actually going and do some inventory or something like that. So you can then allocate your time and do some other stuff, or say maybe I need to do some marketing and, 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 and other things like that. The other thing with this app that I saw, if you're actually on the phone, your phone's at your face and you can't actually access, so you might need to have a tablet on Wi-Fi so that on that tablet you can do the cancelling of these bookings or do some reviews with that while you're actually... So if you're talking with somebody and you're saying, oh, well, we're going to cancel that particular appointment and I'm going to make you another appointment it would be more convenient of saying that we're going to rebook you on the uh, Wednesday at 11 o'clock, um, whatever that is. Um, uh, you, you, you can carry on with the phone call and actually do this somewhere else with the switch. So that was just another thought I had. You know, apps are good, but if, if you've got the phone at your face, you'd either have to put it onto speakerphone and do it that way, which might be an alternative thing. But I must admit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be as confident with that sort of stuff. And as I said, the last thing with the delete is that you'd actually most probably just make a little note on a piece of paper of the specific time that was there, make the booking of the appointment for the specific time and actually just put it in as XXXXA or something like that. Um, I, that's required as well. And go and do that more thoroughly um, on the computer or when you have a bit of time. So that's the app and the idea behind the staff side of things. The other thing is, this is not an app template. This is an idea of an app template. I will actually put the template, which will be a page like this, up there um, with the spreadsheet behind. But it won't work because what you'll actually have to do is to go into your... Um, existing client app that you actually have based on the client and come through and you're going to have to duplicate that app if it's going to think about that now you're going to have to go through and duplicate that app and connect it to your existing sheet so both the client data and the staff data are all talking to the same sheet. As this will be in the template store, um, it will be on a different sheet to what you actually want it on. So what the template will actually have inside the actual sheet itself, there will be a tab with um, uh, there'll be a tab with the um, video links of how to build that app from scratch with those features that you actually want. So you would then just go through, copy that app, and then start modifying it to, to suit your own personal needs um, to make those two work. And hopefully, um, uh, I'll carry on doing a little bit more research that we may be able to get um, that delete button working within the app itself. I'm rather intrigued as to why it does. Anyway, thank you very much for um, watching. I hope it's a useful tool. I think if you got one from the client side, it's nice to have one that is staff orientated. Now, the other thing as well, you could possibly combine the client one with the staff one. And, you know, the staff one is only seen if you log on as a staff member or something like that. But in my feeling, it's just keep the two isolated. Have a simple client one and have a simple staff one. And so you give the client people the client one, and you keep the staff one to only the staff. Now, you'd set up the staff tabs as well, so that you, uh, anybody that logs in, so who's uh, a staff member with their own login, they're able to go across and do all of the other staff members one. So if somebody rings up, you're not there, um, B can actually go and look at your timeline and see 
you know, if there's ways that things can be nudged or whatever. You know, because you might get somebody who rings up and doesn't have the app, in which case they've got to do a little bit of checking up on you. And the fact that it's in the same app and they can both log in and you can see each other or you can see three or four of your team members or whatever, that's the ideal thing to actually have, one that's more flexible than that. So I hope this might be a useful um, uh, template for you. Um, again, it's sort of proof of concept at this point in time, and I've kept it simple uh, because they seem to be the more popular ones at this point in time. So thank you very much for watching. If you find the video useful, can you give a thumbs up? If not, up your heart.